So if we're talking to, uh, if we're talking to, because I know your business primarily focuses on the empowerment of women, especially like through survival and firearms. Uh, what are right. some of the lessons that you feel like women should, uh, um, should, should be aware of, like, in, like warning signs, like if there's something that's getting ready to happen that they need right. to be, that they need to be cognizant of? Um, one, of course, as a DV survivor, I'm definitely going to mm -hmm. say, um, pay attention to somebody. Um, I know me, I was a victim of this myself, uh, you know, somebody grabbing me and, yeah, yeah. you know, being aggressive with me and just be like, oh, he's upset. And then now, you know, you live in a toxic world where so many people think, oh, my man don't get upset. He don't get angry at me like that. He don't love me. You know, mm -hmm. all that stuff is false facts. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a while to get to know it. But um, we definitely got to start, you know, actually seeing the signs of someone who's, you know, working their way up to being abusive. Mm -hmm. Because um, so many of us don't see it. And now you got women getting killed, their kids and you know, it's because they're ignoring them signs and it, it's sad, you know. Um, Absolutely. So, so that's number one. Um, another thing I would say is being aware uh, of their surroundings. So mm -hmm. many women I see walk around every day with big giant pocketbooks and you just walk in with this big giant pocketbook and you're not paying attention to nothing that's going on around you. Your hands yeah. are full. You have a pocketbook in this one phone in this one and you just walking around and you you know it's people just walking around you and you're not paying attention yeah. no situational yeah. awareness yeah situational awareness is everything i have been telling women i've been telling people even like i have teen boys you know mm -hmm. so i'm telling them don't you walk around with both of them ear pods in your ear you know mm -hmm. um, don't you walk around with a whole bunch of stuff in your hands you know if i gotta buy you pants with a whole bunch of pockets just so you can put your stuff in your pockets so you can have your hands free all that makes the difference um Definitely. being survive in an emergency situation Definitely. also knowing your exits um i tell my kids all the time know your exits when you walk in a building when you walk in a restaurant mm -hmm. whatever see exits in there you know just in case it's an emergency because if anybody running out the front door right but he coming in that front door do you want to run out that front door if you could just run out that back you know mm -hmm. it's just Stuff, but people they're not they're not giving it enough attention to really realize so i feel like that is one of the biggest things right now is just being aware um when it comes to being a firearm owner i would definitely say um being slower to anger you know what i mean i feel mm -hmm. like so many people get firearms and then it's like ain't nobody gonna mess with me yeah, you know, yeah. which is attitude you should not have because like i said if you happen to use the gun and mm -hmm. you're not justified it's definitely not going to be worth it for the absolutely you know, argument that you don't have with the girl down the street about some guy who about to be with her anyway because you're going mm -hmm. to jail yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. So, for real for real yeah <laughs> it's like you got to make it make sense um so i tell everybody i'm like listen if you driving and you got road rage the last thing you should be thinking in your head is, well, I got a gun. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Absolutely. Like, you, know, you need to be able to focus on what you need to do and be like, hey, it's not even that serious because that's part of being a responsible gun owner. Absolutely. Um, trying to avoid all the situations you can't avoid, but also being ready for the ones you can't, mm -hmm. you know? So that's definitely a good one as well. Um, but yeah, like all that is important. Getting training, getting education is very important as well. Like I said, so many people, you have the boyfriends that are teaching the girlfriends and then they're mm -hmm. wondering why the girlfriends ain't learning right. Right? Why she can't get it? Why she can't get it? Believe it or not, there is a difference between an instructor and a, a, a male or female that can shoot. If everybody that can shoot cannot teach. There is a difference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't understand. Oh, I, sh I hit my target all the time. Why can't I teach her how to hit her target? I had a, a female police officer who had two sisters and she came to my class. And she was like, oh, I could do this and I could do that. And she did good, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, congratulations. You know, you did good. Um, But when she came, it, oh, I taught them. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was not good. You know, so it's like you need to be mindful and accepting of that. Like, yeah, yeah. be a shooter and not be a teacher. It's okay. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's okay. So, um, I'm real big on people just getting the education behind 
whether it's just firearm um, safety, whether mm -hmm. it's the gun laws, especially like you said, different places. If you in Jersey and New York, your gun laws are completely different than almost mm -hmm. everybody else. You know, Washington, so many places you have to really be aware of them laws. So being aware, knowing, um, knowing the laws for where you are and where you're traveling to. People sure are like, oh, I'm taking my gun with me and not even know you done took your gun over here. Now they got you in the office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because yeah, that's a fact. Our laws is different. Yeah. So knowing what you could travel with, where you traveling to, um, all that stuff is important. All that education is important. And then, like I said, your training. Even if you're doing training, I tell people, if you're really serious and you want to, if you're going to be a person that's going to conceal carry, and you're going to carry that gun every day, mm -hmm. you should not on one training class once a year that makes no sense there's no way you should at least until you get to the point that you feel like for one you have the education behind it and yeah. two you feel like your shots are really going where you want them to go mm -hmm. you should at least be doing training i would say at least two times a month okay oh, yeah, yeah 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 definitely yeah. definitely and that's uh that's that's i say that's on the conservative side so yeah 